Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests. Welcome to today's Recruiting and Retention Battalion Promotion Ceremony honoring 2nd Lieutenant Heather Hill. I'm Sergeant First Class Robert Garris, and I will serve as the Master of Ceremonies for today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the National Anthem and Invocation. Please pray with me. Our Father in heaven, we're thankful that we can come together and celebrate and be with uh, Lieutenant Hill, and we're thankful for her work, and pray that thou wilt continue to bless her as she continues to better those around her and work and strive, that you will lead her and guide her. We're thankful for the support of a son and for her daughter, Angel, and we pray that you will be with each of them as well. We pray that you will help each of us to strive to live out your principles that not only bring strength and peace, but also comfort and great blessings of rejuvenation. We pray that we can turn our hearts to you more fully and have the peace that only comes from you. We are grateful that we get to live in this country where our motto is, in God we trust. In the name of the Lord, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking the time out of your day to attend the promotion of 2nd Lieutenant Heather Hill. 2nd Lieutenant Heather Hill will be promoted to 1st Lieutenant while serving on a tour of duty at the Professional Education Center. 2nd Lieutenant Hill was born in Gulfport, Mississippi and moved throughout Mississippi with her twin brother, Heath Cahey, while in foster care. Second Lieutenant Hill enlisted in the Mississippi Army National Guard in May of 2015 as a private first class. Shortly after completing basic training and advanced individual training as a 92 Alpha Automated Logistics Specialist, she began working as a federal technician with the 1108th Theater Aviation Sustainment Maintenance Group. She also won the Best Warrior Competition within the 1108th and served at the state level. In April of 2017, she was hired as the Mississippi Army National Guard Yellow Ribbon Coordinator at Joint Force Headquarters in Jackson, Mississippi. While serving as the Yellow Ribbon Coordinator, she contracted as a cadet through the Jackson State University Army ROTC program as a dual enrollment student while attending Mississippi College for her academics. In June of 2018, Second Lieutenant Hill began working for the Mississippi Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention Battalion's Officer Strength Management Shop. In May of 2020, Second Lieutenant Hill graduated with a bachelor's degree of a bachelor of science in business administration and commissioned as an officer in the Mississippi Army National Guard. After returning from Engineer Basic Officer Leaders course, Second Lieutenant Hill was assigned to the 858 Engineer Company as a platoon leader. During her time with the engineers, she served as a horizontal platoon leader during the Hurricane Ida Emergency Relief Mission in September of 21. Second Lieutenant Hill assumed her current duties as the Operations Officer at Strength Maintenance Training Battalion in June of 2022. Second Lieutenant Hill's awards include the Army Commendation Medal with One Oak Leaf Cluster, the Army Achievement Medal with One Oak Leaf Cluster, and the Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention Basic Badge. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Second Lieutenant Hill will come forward and recognize her family and guests. Afternoon, everyone. 
All right, so first of all, I would like to thank Colonel, Ch Colonel Cherry, the Brigade Commander of Peck. I also would like to thank Colonel Be Lieutenant Colonel Bell and Sergeant Major Snow for attending my ceremony today. All right, so my special guest today, I have two very special guests. It popped up at like the last five minutes of us starting, completely unexpected. We have Captain Hodge, my mentor, my friend, and my friend and mentor as well, Matt Sergeant Williams. Thank you so much for showing up for this moment. I didn't expect it. I could cry right now, but I'm not, okay? So I also have my daughter, Angel. She's my one and only. And I also have my significant other assigned. So thank you all for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome today's guest speaker, the Professional Education Center Brigade Commander, Colonel Catherine Cherry. Good afternoon. This is what commanders look forward to, the opportunity to promote individuals. It's a great time for Heather Hill as well as Angel and Asan. Today I'm going to share with you some things that I learned about her recently. She just joined our team and what a great asset she will be. She's made a difference already um, in how she presents the battalion she's a part of. She's very committed. As you heard, she's joined um, over in SMTB and she's gladly has some experience that she can share. I know that Major White would want to be here and definitely has been glad that you are, have joined his team. I'm going to talk about three things that characterize Ma uh, Lieutenant Hill. So Heather is characterized as brave and brave is one of the words that represents her because she takes risk, as Angel said, where needed to better herself. What a great thing for your daughter to say about you. The second word was resilient, and I asked Asan for a word, and he gave me that. Taken, she takes a lot. It's taken a lot to get to this point. She is an overcomer. And you can tell if you speak with her, that is exactly her personality, her presence, and she will do what it, is, it takes to accomplish the mission. The last word is inspiring. Her story is inspiring. If you get to talk to her, she's had many experiences. And what she strives to do is influence others to be their best. And that's what we need here at PEC, is someone who presents themselves tells their story and makes our organization better. And I have no doubt that Heather Hill will do that. I wanna congratulate you, Heather. I wanna thank you, Asan and Angel for being here as this is a pivotal moment in her career. We look forward to the next promotion, a couple of years off, but we know that it will be a next promotion. So thank you for asking me to do this. I appreciate it and it is a pleasure. Thank you, ma'am, for those kind words. Would Second Lieutenant Hill please join us center stage and be joined by Hassan Roussel and Angel Hill. Attention orders. Special orders dated number 342, dated 16 November 2020. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Second Lieutenant Heather D. Hill. In view of these qualities and your demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, you are therefore promoted to the rank of First Lieutenant in the Reserve of the Army for service in the Army National Guard of the United States. By order of the Secretary of the Army, signed Jansen D. Boyles, Major General, United States Army, the Adjutant General, Mississippi Army National Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, First Lieutenant Heather D. Hill. Wow. 
So I am honored, truly honored and blessed for this opportunity. But this opportunity wouldn't have been possible without the support of several individuals that are just as committed to my success as I am. So we do have a live stream right now because I know some of my loved ones and those that have been here for me could not attend. So I would like to recognize some of those individuals that may not be here and some that are actually here right now. So I would like to start with my Aunt Della. So when I first joined back in uh, 2015, wow, it's been a long time. Okay, so 2015, she was the initial start of my support system. Uh, my aunt is like 75, but she is very strong and she was very supportive in ensuring that Angel had a place to stay and that she was well taken care of. I would also like to thank my dad and Nini, his wife Nini, I call her Nini. Um, I would also like to thank Cherie Wilson. So Cherie Wilson is a very long time childhood friend. We've been through foster care together. We've seen our ups and downs and we, we were single moms for a very, very long time and we were each other's support system. I would also like to thank Tabria Ashley, my mentor since I've been in for the past seven years, Captain Hodge and Matt Sergeant Williams, thank you so much. One of my mentors is not here, but I would also like to thank Colonel uh, Stacy Johnson as well. Of course, I have my significant other, uh, son Roussel, and more than anything, I would have to thank Major White. I know he's not here. I think he's on the board right now, but Major White is the SM uh, SMTB uh, Battalion Commander. Without him seeking out, looking for OSM personnel and giving me this opportunity, I wouldn't actually be here right now, so I certainly have to thank him. Now, as you can tell, it takes a village. As I just named quite a few people, right? It wasn't just one person, it was a collective amount of people that, that made this happen for me. Um, so I, I am thankful for you guys. Asan, you ready? <laughs> All right, Asan, he's prize uh, service Air Force, you guys. Um, so there's always a little friendly rivalry in the house, uh, but just like all branches of the armed services, we're all one big family, and we all serve for the same purposes, to serve and protect. Which is why I feel like God sent you to me, why he gave you to me. As you and everyone else know, our support system and our spouses play a tremendous amount of role in our lives and within our careers. I know our original plan was to move to Dallas. But the opportunity coming here to Peck presented itself. And before I can even explain the opportunity, Asan was like, let's do it. And I'm grateful for that. Um, little do you know, the very next day, I cried like a little baby. <laughs> because, you know, to have a significant other to support you and to not hesitate means a lot to me because I haven't had that. Um, your support hasn't gone unnoticed. Uh, you've taken my daughter to doctor's appointments since we've been here. You've helped tremendously with the PCS move and you've even cleaned the house on Fridays before I get home, get home from work. Um, now, I know it sounds like he's a stay-at-home dad, right? Well, he's not. <laughs> he's, he actually works remote. He's an uh, analyst, he works remote. Um, but he gets a lot done before I get home, which I appreciate you more than anything. So huge shout out to your parents, by the way, uh, because they have created an amazing, loving, thoughtful, and thriving man. Um, I want the entire world to know how lucky I truly am for you. Now, my princess angel, can I still call you princess? All right, okay, yeah, she just became a teenager. She's 13 now, and uh, I know we're trying to set our left and right limits about being babies and princesses, so. <laughs> so, wow, you, you've grown up to be so big. I'm so proud of you. Um, I know this journey hasn't been easy for you. You're such a strong young lady, much stronger than I could have ever imagined, or I could have been at your age. Um, I was growing as you were growing, believe it or not. Uh, we struggled there for a while, and I spent a total of a year and a half away from you in the seven years that I've been in. So I did some adding the other day. That's a long time. I missed a year and a half of your life. But those sacrifices, they were for a reason. They were for you, for us. Um, 
I, I remember the moments where you had to sit in the back of the class where I took night classes because I was working full time. I was a federal technician, I was doing night classes and ROTC. There were times, actually a lot of times, she slept in the car while I did PT in the mornings for ROTC just so we can get you to, class, to, get you to school in time because I was a single mom, you know, we did what we had to do, right? Um, more than anything, you didn't complain. I, I kid you not, my girl, she did not complain, not one time. Um, I remember walking, I remember waking up one morning and seeing this estranged woman eating in my kitchen, so I thought. <laughs> the strangest thing though is my shoes, shirts, pants, and jewelry started to disappear. I wonder where they went to. <laughs> um, sweetheart, I just want to leave you with this. Life is hard. It, it'll never be easy. You shouldn't want it to be. That is the only way you'll discover new levels to your potential. Welcome challenges and use your moments of failure as a foundation to your success. Speaking of failures, I know to, today we're celebrating an accomplishment, but many people have expressed how they've been inspired by my growth and my progress. Well, there are some things I want you to understand, and that is I have failed in life, like many others. My most recent failure was Engineer Bolick. So I was presented, well, I'm sorry, I filled out uh, three weeks prior to me graduating, actually. And I was uh, forfeited the opportunity to either rebranch or go back to day zero. Who wants to go back to day zero? I did. Yay. <laughs> so I went back to day zero and I started all over again. Um, after I came back from Bolick, excuse me, after I came back from Bolick as an engineer officer, um, I had the opportunity to serve um, the Hurricane Ida Emergency Relief Mission in Louisiana with the A58 Engineer Company. Um, it was the most humbling experience I've ever had um, as um, the soldiers and I, we woke up at five o'clock in the morning. There were some nights that we didn't go to sleep until maybe 10 o'clock at night. Um, as they cleared paths for residents in Louisiana, um, it, was, it was an awesome opportunity and a great experience to have with the 858. Um, I used the, these opportunities to show my daughter how to rise in the presence of, of defeat. You may not understand these words on this day, but there will come a day where you resonate or they will resonate when you need them most. You know, every household has their rules. In our household, we have a very important rule, and that rule is to ce celebrate every moment and every accomplishment, for the next is not promised. This weekend, we will be celebrating not just my accomplishment, but also Angel's first last day of middle school, as she put it. <laughs> it took me a while to get, catch it, but I got it. <laughs> Lastly, for every ear listening and every eye watching, I want to leave you with this. The silver lining to every story is the result of your perseverance. I've taken a nugget or two from individuals that have inspired me along the way, hoping I could inspire someone else to do the same. So as you travel along your paths, your unique paths in life, always remember to remain educated, healthy, and relevant. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the benediction followed by the Army Song. Please pray with me. Our Father God, we are again thankful for Lieutenant Hill and for her sacrifice and work and example. We pray again for her and for a son and angel that they will be lifted up and blessed by you as we work together to follow your principles. We are thankful that we get to serve and sacrifice the standard of liberty, the Constitution of the United States, that is the longest surviving Constitution in the world, as it's based on your principles. We pray that we will go forward with your strength and honor, and that we will have the humility and courage to change as we seek to edify ourselves and those around us, that we may have your blessings of unity. We are thankful for our leaders, and we pray for each of them. In the name of the Lord, amen.
have done fighting till the battle's won and the army goes rolling along. When it's high, high, hey, the army's on its way. Count off my cadence of the song. Over every throne, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Thank you for attending. You are invited to congratulate First Lieutenant Hill and join us for refreshments in the back of the room. Thank you.